Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at how we can represent the DFT as a linear transformation. It is the DFT of a signal X of n can be represented of a signal or a sequence X of n can be represented as a linear transformation. Recall the definition of x of k. It is the dft x of k is given by the sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n w n power k n where w n is the twiddle factor that is w n is given by e power minus j 2 pi divided by capital N. So w n is given by e power minus j 2 pi by capital N. So x of k is given by this linear combination. So we want to represent this as a linear transform that is a product of a matrix and a vector. So as a first step let us write the sequence x of n that is the sequence x of n for n equal to 0 to n minus 1 as a vector represented as follows that is small x underscore n or small x underscore n bar that is x n bar is equal to the values x of 0 x of 1 and so on up to x of n minus 1. So this is the input sequence x of n bar and the capital X n bar that is the output sequence that is the DFT sequence is given by x of 0 x of 1 up to x of n minus 1. So these values are the uh, values in the DFT sequence the n point DFT sequence. Next we can write the values in this uh, twiddle factor as a matrix that is we can represent in matrix denoted as capital W n double bar that is this is a matrix that has the elements given by 1 1 1 1 all ones in the first row and then 1 W n and so on up to W n power n minus 1 in the second row and then 1 W n square and so on up to W n power 2 times n minus 1 and the final row will be 1 w n power n minus 1 and so on up to w n power n minus 1 squared. So, so these are the elements of this matrix w n double bar. So uh, for uh, to determine any of the elements of this matrix we can write it as w n double bar for any k comma n where k is the row index and n is the column index. So this value is simply given by w n power k n that is the twiddle factor power k times n. So this gives the elements of this matrix. Now the output vector that is the DFT vector x n bar that is capital X n bar it can be represented as this matrix w n double bar multiplied by the input vector input vector x n bar that is n point input sequence x n of n uh, uh, represented as a vector and then we multiply this matrix with this vector we get the output vector x n bar how does it work let us see recall that x of k is given by the sum n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n multiplied by w n power k n that means each value x of k is given by a vector w n bar of k that is this vector multiplied by the, uh, the another vector x n bar that is the input vector. Now this vector w n bar of k is the row of the matrix w n double bar that is it is a given kth row of this matrix that is it is represented as w n power 0 into k w n power 1 into k and so on up to w n power n minus 1 into k. So that is the kth row of the matrix. So the kth element of the vector x of uh, kth element of the vector capital X and bar is given by x of k which is simply the product of this vector with this vector say a dot product. Therefore to derive all the elements of this vector x and bar uh, that is x of 0, x of 1 and so on up to x of n minus 1 we basically have to repeat this operation for each k. Therefore the elements of the vector x and bar are indeed the uh, 
product of this matrix w and double bar multiplied by the input vector x and y because when we multiply any of these rows with the uh, the input vector x and bar you get the corresponding uh, output values that is we get the values of this vector capital x and bar dft therefore the dft can be represented by this simple matrix and vector product that is a linear transformation thanks for watching